there, Katie from Equinix here. And today let's talk about interconnection. Interconnection is the ability to exchange data directly and privately through traffic exchange points on larger networks. At its core, interconnection refers to connecting things together. While you could send things over the internet, it's a lot faster and more secure to send the data over a direct connection. Just think about how much faster it is to move data when you plug into an ethernet cable versus going over the Wi-Fi. That's a lot harder to do when you're trying to connect two servers together in a data center, especially if the servers are in different data centers. If we were to wire them together directly, suddenly there's a massive wire sticking out of the server in every direction to all the different servers it should connect to, and we quickly run out of ports. Instead of wiring them together directly, interconnection allows servers and other systems to connect at these exchange points still along a private connection. At scale, that means a much neater and more scalable connection pathway. In a data center, interconnection ensures that data can travel quickly between systems, applications, and users. Think about interconnection like the US highway system. And I love this example because it really understands what interconnection is. So would you rather drive from New York City all the way to San Francisco via back roads or the highway? Now, if you're like me and can't sit in the car for a long time, I prefer the highway. Or you could be like my husband and say back roads because, well, he likes the scenery. But while you might experience some of those country roads going on local roads, it's much faster, more direct, and secure to take the highway. Interconnection is kind of similar to the highway. It allows us to get to our destination faster and more directly. It's basically the highway of the digital world, connecting to networks, clouds, and enterprises in a seamless flow. Without proper interconnection, you get bottlenecks, slower data processing, inefficiencies, and even system failures. That's great, Katie, but what does this have to do with your day-to-day? -day? In today's world, data centers are the hub of our interconnected digital ecosystem. They don't just house servers, they connect cloud providers, internet service providers, and enterprises. And the more interconnected a data center, the faster the data moves between these critical players, reducing latency, increasing performance, and securing your data. If you're already an enterprise company running a hybrid cloud strategy, then you want, no, you need a way to connect your co-located servers to various cloud providers. Well, interconnection is the fastest and safest way to do that. Say you're moving data from one cloud to another, and I'm not talking about a few gigabytes, I'm talking hundreds of petabytes. Going over the public internet would be slow, costly, and less secure. And if both of your cloud providers were in the same co-located facility and interconnected to each other, well, then you could just use a private connection to move that data in hours instead of days or weeks. And we're talking moving data in 10, 50, or 100 gigabits per second. So when you're creating the next big cloud native product, you can't just think about the developer or the user experience from the point of view of the app or the interface. You have to think in terms of speed and security too, because speed means more API calls or faster load times, while security means fewer breaches and more signups and funding. And all that there is part of the power of interconnection. This has been your tech explainer for the week. And if you liked this video, please like, subscribe, and share. I'll be back soon with another explainer video right here on Equinix Developers YouTube channel. Take care.